Have we ever explained this? No. So how would you explain this? Um, so there's a drink I've had in Japan and at Japanese grocery stores. Yeah. It's a honey lemonade and I really love it. And I found a recipe to make it, but it's a little bit different. It's still very good though. It's important to clarify when Mao says honey lemonade, she means that those are the only ingredients. And water. Well, yeah, it's, it's honey and lemons. Yes. That have been put in the fridge. Well, this is what I do. I take a lemon, I slice it super thin, and then you basically cover it in honey until the honey turns a lot more liquid than the viscous honey that you think of. It's like overnight, and then I water it down with water, hot or cold, because it would be good in tea too, basically as a warm tea. Like a 50-50 mix? About. I do it to taste, so I don't actually measure. It's also really good with like a tonic water instead of like tap water. Okay. So I've really enjoyed it. I've been making it a few times over the summer. And Steven's never tried it. I've never it. tried it. <laughs> I told Mal I would try it today. So this is served chilled, obviously. It's on ice. It's the ingredients, again, honey and lemon and water. And that's it. It's very strong of, of lemon, obviously. I made it a little stronger than normal. I ran out of room in the cup. Yeah, that's... Mmm, that's tart. That's really you think tart. it's tart? Yeah. Did you try it? Yes. Really? I don't think it's tart. You know what that reminds me of? What? Grapefruit juice. <laughs> it has the same tartness, the mm -hmm. same overpowering thing that makes me hate grapefruit juice. That's mm -hmm. what that tastes like. I don't hate it, but I would I would struggle to finish a glass. It would be physically difficult. That's fine, more for me. That's, it doesn't make a lot. It's just I a would nice probably, treat every once in a I'd while. I'd probably enjoy that a lot more hot mm -hmm. than I would cold. Anyway, um, hi everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. I can't remember if I said that already. Um, school? Scoop. Give me the school. This is what he does. He sits here and he taps me on the shoulder whenever he wants, you know, something. So, can and almost, it's always scoop. And it's always, yes, son. I know. I know. So, we got up and did breakfast stream this morning. We got up and did breakfast stream this morning. Breakfast stream went well. Um, and actually, right at 9 a.m., well, I say breakfast stream went well. It was 20 minutes late because our internet pooped out and I needed to reset the router. Other than that, it went well, but um, at 9 a.m., Nintendo released a trailer for the upcoming... Yes, son. For the upcoming Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game, which is coming out for Switch, which is basically a re-release of 3D World, but it has this other thing in it. We don't know a whole lot about it. We watched the trailer, and um, we had full intentions of returning to the game with Alex and Haley, but it... it Initial impressions, it doesn't look like it's four-player. It might be. It kind of looks like it's two-player, but I don't know. We'll, we'll learn more later. Um, we are very interested in returning to... We're very interested in returning to the game with them. Um, we've got options. Uh, if it is two-player, we could take turns. We could also, you know, Mal and I could finish up Bowser's Fury, and then we could do a different Let's Play with them, like we could do uh, the new Super Mario Brothers Wii series or something, something that would be very in line with what we've already done. So we've got options. I, you haven't seen the last of them with us in, you know, some Mario game. I, I think that that much is true, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see and learn more about this Bowser's Fury thing, because right now it looks like it's one or two player, and it also looks pretty different than... Uh, the other thing. Although at least you get to be gigantic. You want something? No? Okay. Well, if you don't want anything, that's fine. Oh, you do? We can make that happen. We can make that happen. Okay. He's very cute. It gets annoying, but he's, he's always very cute. Oh, God. I'm a little, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> Just a little bit. 
um, Mal was Mal was doing uh, DDR, and I was like, "Eh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow." I was like, "I'm not, I'm not gonna do it today," but she was playing through songs, and uh, one of the songs that she got to to be kind of specific for folks who have played DDR was a uh, cowgirl and uh, I was she's still playing on like she's getting into doing some of the the medium levels some of the standards and I was like oh this level's really cool because on hard it's a gallop and she was like oh that's neat and I was like I don't know if it's on you know standard or whatever so she did standard and it wasn't there and I was like oh I gotta show you this so then <laughs> so I jumped up and I did uh, I did it on hard so I could show that it's a gallop because it's really neat. It's you're like do, do, you're like galloping like a horse, but I'm not like sweaty from that. But it was like suddenly jarring to my system that was at complete rest. I had been sitting on the couch and I was I was eating um, some cheese crackers and I was watching Mal play, and then I was like, oh, I gotta show you. And then I, I went from like you know, zero to 60, and my body's like, why'd you do that? And now I'm back at rest. <laughs> it's not really how you should handle exercise. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'll, I'll do more exercise and stuff tomorrow, but uh, I was just, you know, it was on my head. I was like, oh man, I gotta show you this thing. It's super cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're still having fun with that. It's, uh, it's been a real joy, but also, um, you know, it is tiring. I'm hoping that over time, uh, the, I, I think one of the big things is, is just trying to build stamina because the way it's worked for the past a long time, like even back in high school, whenever I would play uh, DDR at the arcades, like I couldn't play very long. I didn't, I didn't have a whole lot of stamina. So like I was getting better at the game um, and I was getting better at moving my feet quickly, you know, and, and playing the harder levels. But the problem was I couldn't play them for very long. So I actually started to get in the habit of, you know, if, if I went to the mall or something and I would, you know, I'd walk by the arcade, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'll go in and play like just a set of levels, which was three levels. And I would just play the hardest level first. Like I would just play whatever I, like my, my ceiling, I would just play that as the first level because I knew that I, that's when I had the most stamina. So I would like, all right, just about kill myself playing the first level. And then I would, play two easier levels. And then that was it. That was, you know, as most as I played. Um, at home, it was a little bit different, but it, it was never quite the same at home because at home we had, um, we had nicer foam pads, but they were still foam pads. We had the red octane stuff. And uh, we actually just finally threw those away a year or so ago because the, it was clear to me that they were just, they were broken. They couldn't be repaired. And that's, around the time that we had started the journey for trying to get, you know, a nice, a nice pad, which is what led us to the Cobalt Flux. But yeah, I got a lot of use out of those Red Octane pads, like a lot. Um, and they could survive a lot of abuse. They just, on the, on the higher difficulty levels, they did slide around a good bit. Not a good bit, but like noticeably. And thankfully that's, uh, that's better now. Anyway, sorry. Um, today was good. Today was good. Uh, yesterday, I had said on the vlog, I actually I was in this exact same spot, and I said that yesterday was a, a, it was not a great day. You know, sometimes you just have bad days, and yesterday was a bad day. And you know what? Today was better. Today was better. I didn't, I didn't, you know, achieve every single goal that I had in mind, but I felt better. And I, I think sometimes that's just, that's the victory you need. Um, and I know that I can continue to be productive tomorrow. And uh, I'm just going to get another good night's rest and, and go from there and see where it leads. But it's nice to be able to reflect on the fact that yesterday was crappy because it, it was. It wasn't great. And instead to look at today and be like, today was a lot better. And it was. And uh, tomorrow's looking pretty good, to be completely honest. I, I think tomorrow will be a really good day too. Partially because I've got so many of these to to snack on from Christmas. Oh, actually, I can tell you why tomorrow's going to be good. Holy crap. The pastrami gets here tomorrow. I was reminded because I was like, look at this Christmas present of food. Yeah, well, guess what? There's another Christmas present of food that's coming tomorrow. The uh, the Cat's Deli order 
the Christmas present I got from Al is going to be here tomorrow, and I am so friggin' excited. I mean, I, I, I don't get super, super, super excited about a lot of things. I'm really excited about this. I have been looking forward to this every day since Mal <laughs> surprised me with it on Christmas Day. And uh, she's really excited about it, too. So, yeah, it's going to be obviously a little different because, you know, when we ate it there, it was just, just served on a plate and you ate it. And now it's going to come in a box with, like, ice and stuff. So we'll have to, like, reheat it. But looking past that part, still excited to actually have that all tomorrow. So that's going to be the subject of tomorrow's vlog. I'm pumped about it. And uh, I hope that you guys are excited, too, because I, I love food. <laughs> and this, you know, in, in, a, in a year where, you know, we, we ate at home basically the entire time. Um... Being able to feel like I have not just outside food, but like fancy, fancy outside food, food from like another state. That's so exciting. That like, it, it's, it's really something that raises my spirits at a time when I think my spirits could use raised. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I'll stop talking. Just tomorrow. Tomorrow's dinner's going to be great. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's be back tomorrow. Shall we?